Uh, the great Republican Congressman Byron Donaldson, he is under fire, as you might expect, from the usual suspects over those comments, where he criticized what LBJ's Great Society agenda did to the African-American family, um, you know, the African-American community. Uh, CNN's Abby Phillip was one of uh, many on the left who insinuated at a bare minimum that uh, he longs for the days of Jim Crow. Byron Donalds uh, wasn't having any of that, and he shot that down. It sounds like nostalgia. Do you regret using that time frame as a reference? Nobody ever made nostalgia. That was never the point. So you're suggesting that because the black family was together, they were better off than they are now. See, this is the problem, Abby. So are, so are they, so are you saying that? that... What America is seeing right now, especially black America, is the gaslighting that unfortunately does happen in politics, where you take my comments and you want to weave your own political viewpoint well, into what I said. I also... hmm. uh, our media doing the role of, you know, it's the role of the media to protect and defend the Democrat Party and to attack... Uh, any Republican. And uh, isn't it fascinating the way the news media always has a black reporter or anchor uh, trotted out to attack the black congressman, mm -hmm. the black Republican, is no his way. And, and uh, you said, Brooke, that the Democrats are terrified of Byron Donalds. Listen, Byron Donalds is their worst nightmare. He believes in America. He understands the concept of freedom. He knows the America First agenda will lift all Americans to a better life. And they know that the clock is ticking on them. Their coalition is breaking up like never before. And so when Byron Donald stands up and speaks the truth, and he speaks the truth, it absolutely terrifies them. And they just, they can't take it. They can't take it. Yeah, that's a they fact. They lose their minds. Well, and, and he said only a couple of things that uh, triggered them. They're very easily triggered. Everything he said is true, uh, and he wasn't, uh, you know, pining for the old days. And I'd like to just point out real quick that every single Jim Crow law was a Democrat party right, law. Right, right. <laughs> Remember, it was the Democrats in the Senate that literally filibustered right. the Civil Rights Act of 1964. On top of that, remember, Byron Donalds is just right now, as we've heard, being uh, vetted for a VP, uh, be, for the VP candidacy. Mm -hmm. So, of course, he's going to be a complete target for the Democrats to try to tear him down mm -hmm. quickly. That's not going to work because Byron Donalds, he's an effective communicator and he speaks the truth. 67% of black children right now are living in sing, are born into single parent households really challenging for black families. And of course, with uh, Trump's policies, they could uplift the black community. I don't think he said these types of comments before. That's why they're news and we're talking about them. And if any Democrat said stuff about positively about the Jim Crow era, we would be uh, attacking them here on this show. And so uh, I think that the, uh, wasn't the vast majority, you know, era. there's no, there's, it's hard for me to find any black Americans who look back at Jim Crow and say, well, they were, we were more together, we were more conservative, let's just go back to, let's turn he back the clock. He wasn't defending That's not, that's Jim not what he said. No. Which makes sense time. because he didn't say that. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly right. Now, this is a classic, this is a point I make uh, frequently on, on my uh, radio show as well. Uh, Democrats take what you've said, change it until it's not what you've said, and then attack you for what you didn't say. So what was his yes. point? There were uh, several points. I'd be happy to engage you on them. There are only a couple of sentences and several intelligent points. That uh, one of them was that LBJ's Great Society policies demolished the, the nuclear family in the African American That's community, right. and the completely. effects of uh, that program by the Democrats and LBJ, uh, we know, was uh, a racist and uh, used all kinds of racial slurs, uh, and. Uh, and uh, Byron Donalds was saying, you know, the demolition of the family and of black professionalism education is uh, the Democrats have been dr the driving force on that since the 60s. And I think it was Reagan who said that we fought the war on poverty and poverty won that war. And obviously it's worth remembering that the people who are implementing these policies were KKK, uh, grand cyclops, wizard, whatever, Democratic Senate Majority Leader Robert Byrd, who Joe Biden famously Exalted knew, cyclops. Uh, exalt sorry, I can't remember these absurd titles from these freak show <laughs> people, uh, but uh, who Biden, of course, eulogized surrounded by now other Senate Democrats. Right. I mean, the history of the Democratic Party is the history of racism in America uh, from start to finish. And it continues to this day, just by the way. Uh, and it's not limited to the soft bigotry of low expectations. It goes into this, too.